I consider myself a blessed man for so many reasons. One of those reasons is mostly because of the people I have been blessed and fortunate to be surrounded by. And that's my siblings especially. And even especially amongst them is Rose, my eldest sister, who's late. She just passed last October uh, in 2022, a day before her birthday. Rosie celebrates her birthday in October and on the 16th day of the month. I celebrate my birthday in April and on the 16th day of the month. So Rosie and I had that special bond. We were the only people different in our family. Every other member of my family, uh, my siblings, celebrate their birthday, all of them in March. <laughs> well, I guess because of that special bond, that's why it's been the hardest thing for me, losing Rosie. But here's the thing, I, I, I consider myself blessed because it's something I borrow from scripture. You know, when, when the angel Gabriel appeared to Mary during the annunciation, you know, the announcement of uh, that, uh, the, the, the news that she was going to be the savior of the world. He told her, hail Mary, thou who has been favored by the Lord, thou who is full of grace. And along the line of that annunciation and the, the announcement, he told her that uh, you are blessed among women and that from generation to generation, all people shall call you blessed. That's reflected in uh, pieces today or compositions and musical works, which we usually title the Magnificat. I'm blessed among women. I'm blessed among my siblings because there are six of us and all three before me are ladies. And the immediate next to me is a lady. So we have Rosie, our eldest, Esther, Evelyn, and then there is me. And right next to me after me is Charlene, a lady. And of course, there is our, my only brother, uh, the last in our family, Osita. And the thing is that before I even had a conception of what it meant to believe in myself, my sisters already believed in me. When you heard them talking about me, they will call me smart, intelligent, brilliant. I was always ashamed because I felt like that was a misrepresentation of who I actually was. But then realized later that what they were doing was actually affirming on my behalf. Because I couldn't do it then. I could hardly comprehend what was being taught in class. I could hardly think for myself. I could hardly take care of myself. I was always sick. I was always challenged. But my sisters were championing a cause to call into being, to call into existence, to speak into existence. I'll be honest with you, everything that I am right now and everything I am yet to become that the Lord has in store for me, they believed in me. They accepted me. They nurtured me. They spurred me on. <laughs> they, they've been my biggest cheerleaders. They've been my biggest fans. When I'm failing, they're there upholding me. When I'm succeeding, they're there cheering me on. Although there's something I don't like about them. If I did wrong, they never hold back. They'll lash out at me. They'll call me out. Guess what? In past relationships, times when I messed up, when I, you know, maybe there was a fight between me and an, and an ex, my sisters will call me out. They will never take my side. I wish most sisters, I wish most families were like mine. You be accountable. If you're treating that lady wrong, if you're treating that man wrong, you would know, remember in, your, in, your, in the back of your mind that... Your family will call you out. They won't just support you just because you're family. That is truth. That is justice. That is equity. Those were the kind of people I was surrounded by. Those were the kind of people, my sisters and my brother. They, that's who they are. And I'm so grateful for how they've shaped me. I'm so grat grateful for how they've pushed me. And I'm so grateful for how they continue to motivate me to be the best I can be and 
to be someone they will be proud of anytime, any day. So Rosie, wherever you are right now, as you look down, as you're looking at me from heaven, thank you. Thank you, Esther. Thank you, Evelyn. Thank you, Charlene. Thank you, Osita. I'm so grateful for what you guys have made me become. And I thank you for all the many ways you inspire me. God bless you richly.